Look, this film was not great or even good, but it had great aspects to it. It had great moments in the film. The third act really saved the film for me personally. I've seen a lot of mutuals and people that I follow basically say the same thing I'm saying. This film was not that great, but it had potential and had some great moments. But overall, I agree with mostly what everyone's saying. But then I see a lot of people try to compare the original, which is very great, and I love that movie, comparing the original to this film, saying that they should never do another Crow project, that they should never do a Crow movie or a Crow show or, or even another comic book run for the Crow. I disagree. I reject that notion. Yes, the original was great and amazing. It does not, whatever they do in Hollywood, whatever a uh, filmmaker or comic book writer does with the Crow you know, story or the whole idea of it, whatever they do in the future, it does not take away from the original. And all the respect in the world to the original film, the people that made that film, and rest in peace to Brandon Lee. But The Crow was a comic book run series that happened way before the original was even an idea, before Hollywood even got their hands on it and did whatever they wanted with it. No, like it was originally a comic book run, just like the TMNT, Marvel and DC, Spawn, Invincible, The Boys, The, the Walking Dead, to say that we couldn't make another movie or show based on the crow comic book run series i reject that notion i don't i don't agree with that i think there's so much potential in this world of the crow and there's so many great stories that could be adapted to the movies or shows or even more comic book runs but you know i i reject that notion that we're not allowed to do that because the original was so great it does not that all that stuff does not take away from the original film the original film is always going to be great and uphold it as one of the great comic book films just like blade you know x-men spider-man and spider-man 2 logan it, it doesn't take away from those films at all but i reject the notion that we're not allowed to make more art out of this comic book run that that was great when it first came out to say that we can't do that because of the original I reject that notion. I, I think that's ridiculous. Like, I noticed people are saying that the whole world in between world things that they do in this film that they really didn't do in the original. Granted, there is some comic book accuracy when it comes to the original, like the whole Gotham aspect of the city, the setting of it was 100% from the comics. But there were some things that they did ignore from the comics that they did in the original. You know, and there are some things that they ignored in this movie from the comic books, but there was a lot of things that they did explore that were in the comics in this film, like the whole world in between worlds thing and understanding the idea of the crow and how that operates and how that works and how they choose their individuals and how the powers work and whatnot, which they never really truly explore in the original, which I appreciate that they do explore in this film, you know, so... There are some great things in this film. Like, it does open the door, or at least show the audience that, hey, there's some things that you don't know about The Crow that was established in the comics that they show in this film. And I see a lot of people that love the original saying, oh, they should not have done this. This is not how the original film is. I hate to break it to people. The original film does not, you know, is not the Bible of The Crow. No, the comic book run series that came out way before the original is really, if not the Bible of how to make a crow film or to respect the character and the lore of the crow. But I'm not saying they can't take ideas that was established in the original film and apply it to more films going forward. Like, for instance, a lot of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy was really based off the whole Spider-Man 90s animated series. A lot of that was carried over into the spider-man trilogy of you know the one of the best high regarded high regarded spider-man trilogies also they did it in the spider-man game with the whole doc ock and peter thing like all that you know doc ock being a mentor and a tutor for peter was established in the um, 90s animated series so i'm not saying that they're not they shouldn't you know take the ideas that they did in the movie the original one and apply it to a future show movie or comic book run not saying that they do it even in the comics the whole spider-man you know organic webs they did that for a while in the comics all you spider-man fans you know what i'm talking about even though it wasn't very highly loved but they did it in the comics that's how art works is that you know art inspires others to do things with that art but um but if they make a film that takes a lot from the comic books like they did in this film, even though there's a little bit of a modern take to it and they do ignore some things from the comics. But when it comes to the whole the idea of the crow and how that operates and how that works, 
then yeah, I'm all for it. Like, let's do it. Let's let's show the world or show like moviegoers that hey, this is how the crow works and how that operates. And granted, you know, it's I don't know. I just think we're limiting the story of the crow because the original did such a great job. And there's tragedy behind that film, and not all respect in the world to it. But you're saying we can't make another Crow film or another Crow project, even though they had Crow sequels to the original, by the way, which wasn't that great. Um, you know, maybe it's a curse to the Crow series <laughs> because of that film. But, um, you know, but I, I, I don't know. I, I reject the notion that just because the original was so great that we're not allowed to make more art out of that whole world of the crow especially when it started originally from a comic book run series that was awesome and fantastic i encourage people to go read the comic book series run because it's it's amazing i love it and you know there's a lot of things that maybe you didn't see or understand in the movies or from the original to the sequels to even this new remake that um, might open the door, keep it, keep you open-minded, or maybe have a better understanding of all the films. But that's just my two cents. I still think this film is not that great. Um, there's a lot of issues with this film. There's a lot of um, moments where it does redeem itself, but also then there's moments where it kind of just like diminishes that. So overall, I, I still stick with the seven out of ten rating for me. I know that's very generous of a rating if it wasn't for the third act it would have been like a 6.5 or 6.8 but uh yeah that's just my two cents on the matter and uh yeah no, all not nothing but love and peace and positivity cinema fans thank you for watching if you watched this long like this video and follow for more cinema fans home for fans of cinema alike cinema fans alike so see ya peace